last night is supposed to be about you, Tiffany, about you and all the people I grew up with in <clears throat> Scranton and people in Youngstown and Claymont, Delaware. Does your president understand at all what you're going through? I think he that basically looks down on Back in their 2020 lead, that's Joe Biden speaking directly uh, to Biden, Biden is figuratively uh, getting the train uh, uh, back on track after last night went off the rails. Okay, Joe Biden is chugging along on the campaign trail as he's taking this roughly 200 mile tour from Cleveland straight into Trump country in Pennsylvania as he is trying to court some of those Trump voters from back in 20 that he could understand why Americans might be turned off by politics after what they witnessed last night. Take a listen to a bit more of what he had to say here in a Last election. night uh, reinforced for me I got this race in the first place. The President of the United States conducted himself the way he did. Now, Biden also forcefully criticized the president again for his refusal to denounce white supremacists. He talked about the president's comments about that far right extremist group, the Proud Boys, when the president told them to stand down and stand back. Combating groups like that is part of the reason he got into this race that he has framed as a battle for the soul of America. Biden also told me that it's part of his political identity, and I think that um, the the idea here is to convince one of them. I think it's probably more effective that way than trying to convince them that the Ivy League, uh, you know, Prince of Park Avenue, because I think people know that Trump is rich and they don't care. Uh, they think that he understands them anyway. So it's better for Biden. I identify with you because I was one of you uh, earlier on in my life. Phil, uh, obviously the moment getting a lot of attention, President Trump's refusal to explicitly condemn white supremacists. Now he's claiming he doesn't know who they are. But you wrote something very interesting in the, in the Washington Post today. You said, it wasn't just the Proud Boys to dissuade supporters from a violent response to the election.